Hi students, I'll try in this educational video to technologically introduce the storage tanks in relation with the American Petroleum Institute standards, of course, as simply and as clearly as possible. Okay, let's go. First, I'll introduce the principal components of a storage tank. So the figure that you see uh, in this uh, slide depicts a typical storage tank. The main structure of a storage tank is composed by a concrete foundation and a bitumen sand to ensure the sealing. And uh, the base is, con is composed by uh, welded bottom plates. And in some cases we have possibly the annular bottom plates, welded annular bottom plates. Uh, in order to ensure the resistance of a storage tank in some uh, cases and we have the shell composed by welded shell plates and we have the roof composed by rafters that will hold the roof cladding composed by welded roof plates the storage tank is composed also by the openings we have the filling opening since this pipe is the fill pipe and uh, we have the draw off uh, opening that can be used also for the clean out of the storage tank we have the main ways that can be located in the shell and in the roof and we have the vent opening for the roof we have also the roof accessories we have the ladder permitting to access the roof and also we have the handrails in association with the kicking flats in order to ensure the safety of the workers when they are on the roof. The storage tanks present also some resistance accessories such as the wind girder permitting to the storage tank to resist against the wind load. And they present also some level indication accessories such as a float in association with an indicator board to indicate the level of the stored product within the storage tank. Now for the applications of storage tanks, it's to note that we have a wide industrial application variety such as the crude oil storage, the petrol storage, the chemical products storage, uh, the water uh, storage, and uh, the liquefied natural gas uh, storage, and the cryogenic liquids storage, cryogenic liquids such as the nitrogen, the helium, the neon, the argon, and the krypton. It's to note here that uh, each industrial application have its specific operating conditions, principally in terms of temperature and pressure. Now for the American Petroleum Institute API standards associated to the design and the construction of the storage tanks, we have the API 620 and the API 650. The API 620 is associated to the large storage tank, large here means at least 300 feet diameter, and uh, the stored products are principally the low temperature, higher pressure liquids such as the liquefied natural gas LNG and the cryogenic liquids and the, the temperature, the operating temperature is uh, between minus 325 Fahrenheit to 250 Fahrenheit and the operating pressure is up to uh, 15 pound per square inch gauge. For the API 650 standards, it's uh, generally for smaller storage tank than for API 620 and the stored products are the high temperature, low pressure liquids such as the crude oil, the petrol, the chemical products and the water and the operating temperature is between minus 40 degree Fahrenheit to 500 degree Fahrenheit and the operating pressure is up to 2.5 pound per square inch gauge. That's all for this educational video. If you have any questions, remarks or suggestions, please mention it in the comments. Thanks a lot for your attention.